Hello, we're back in the studio for another uh, of our weekly newsletters. I'm quite excited this morning, actually. Um, yeah, it's only about 81 sleeps till the Masters, but also we've got the championships on in Abu Dhabi this week. Rory's going to be playing, Dustin's going to be playing. It should be a good event. Looking forward to watching it and see how the new product performs. Callaway making a big announcement this week, so we'll see probably their new product out there. Can't say the name of it yet. There's embargoes, but it is being launched this week. Uh, Telemade. M3 and M4, we all know about that. Cobra's new F8 stuff. All the players will be using the new tech. Let's see how it performs. We're also gonna do some testing when we get it in store here. I think we're gonna get the Callaway Custom Fit Kit any day, so if you wanna be the first, let us know. Give us a send us an email or comment and we'll get you hooked up. Okay, um, so yeah, quite exciting. Looking forward to that. Just going back to here at the weekend, Winter League went on on, far on Saturday and Sunday. First of all, congratulations on Saturday to Kenny Ney and Andy Coleman. 36 points over 14 holes, impressive stuff. And then on Sunday, it was Martin Eldred and Andy Ward with 41 points over 18 holes. Well done, guys. I'm sure you enjoyed the course. It was in great shape. We were back on full greens, which was good news. Just be careful, though, this weekend coming up, there is frost forecast. You understand the situation. If there is a frost and it is going to damage the course, Greg will move us on to the apron greens. Um, actually, I'm going to nip out to the course in a minute and have a quick look. There's some new works happened on the 13th, so I'll pop my waterproofs on and I'll take you out there to have a little look at that. Waterproofs on, yeah, it's been a bit miserable again today. 18 mm of rain came down last night. That's a lot of rain in one night. And the course looks fantastic again this, this afternoon. Um, one question, I've been doing quite a bit of education. And one question someone's come in and said, Dan, I'm really struggling with my chipping. Uh, just had a little chat in the shop. And they mentioned how they keep ca catching the ball heavy, especially with the ground being a little bit softer. Catching ball, uh, the ground before the ball, that's heavy strike. So hitting the ground and then the ball. So I had a quick look at, at the gentleman, it was Membo, just popped in here for two minutes and just realised that that right hand was releasing the club a little bit too early. Now you can get away with releasing the right hand, but he was just doing it a little bit too early. So all I've asked him to do, just try and lock his hands, play the shot with the shoulders, and make sure that weight stays on that left side as he does it. I'll just demonstrate. So the right hand releases early. You could hear I hit the ground before the ball. This time, and that was a heavy shot, heavy strike. This time I'm just going to keep things passive, make sure my hands don't do too much. And hopefully we'll get a nice strike. So not too dissimilar here to a putting action. Okay, you can see that nice crisp strike, you heard that, didn't you? And sure enough, nice straight down the line, okay. So yeah, uh, let's pop out and have a quick look on the golf course and see what that 13th hole looks like. Okay, so I've made it out here to the 13th hole. Uh, it's a bit breezy, it's a bit chilly. These guys are working hard. And I mentioned we've changed the shape of the bunker on 13. The aspect off the tee is fantastic. The bunker's definitely more visible. There's quite a change to the shape. It's more of a kidney shape. Big, high, riveted bunker face as well. Looking forward to getting the challenge of trying to get out of that, certainly. The team have worked hard on a lot of bunkers this winter. This is a, a nice little reshape. Uh, I think it's made a change the look of the hole to be honest as I walk down here and you'll see that as you can see the, the footage as I came through um, it is brutal out here it's freezing cold Actually, these guys are getting their hands dirty day in day out for you guys for the members of the golf club so uh, again great to see um, and I think this bunker will probably be back in play in about a week or two's time they've nearly almost finished turfing it now uh, I'm going to have a good look at it in a second or two but yeah certainly a good change to a bunker for me I really like the way the, the kidney shape is and I personally would not like to be up against the face great more changes to come this winter as well you can see that bunker there nice kidney shape and the steep face as you're playing up to the green there as well that is going to be a challenge so back in the studio in the warp, wow, that was chilly out there. But as you can see, Greg's done some fantastic work and the team, can't forget the boys as well, uh, on that 13th hole. Looking forward to seeing the feedback from members and guests over the next few months. Uh, just mention Gary Potter, one of our, our team, did a skills night last week with great success. He had 10 golfers, 10 members come down, spent some time in here, about three or four hours they're in here, um, enjoying, uh, taking on some skills, some challenges. Uh, Gary did a presentation and Mark Leach won the prize well, well done Mark. 
Uh, he's going to do a series of these skills challenges, so if you fi fancy finding out a little bit more about it, pop into the pro shop, have a quick chat with Gary, you'll see him obviously at the weekend, and get your name down on his next challenge. It sounded like it was great fun. I uh, tested different things and also had a little look at golfers' equipment, but also spent a bit of time helping each of the guys out with their swing as well, so there's a chance to pick up some tips also. The team at the academy is doing really well, the sale is almost at an end, so if you're heading down there, make sure you do pick up a bargain. All the new product will be arriving from middle of February, so we're going to get the store looking very good. Uh, new product arriving, very exciting to see all the new gear out, some new brands coming into store this year as well. Ted Baker, for example, Calvin Klein, uh, and some great product from those more crossover pieces. Got pieces you can wear on the golf course and off the golf course. <coughs> We are looking at doing some fashion pieces, so uh, watch this space on that one. Thanks again for watching. Uh, obviously, please like, share, subscribe, make some comments below. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram because we've got lots of giveaways. And also, we're doing regular updates on the course. And if you do follow us on Twitter, look at the videos, retweet them, share them around. Thanks again for watching. Enjoy the golf this weekend, and we'll see you very soon.